Hi everyone. So today I'll be creating an AI secretary or assistant. So basically the whole idea is in later videos I would be creating one using the LLM model. So we'll create images using uh, Forge Web UI and later in some other video I'll show you how to actually use an LLM API uh, which is not ChatGPT something other than that or even use it locally and create your very own assistant i'm using dream shaper turbo as you can see and it would be eight steps so it is pretty fast and anyone can do it uh, even if you do not have like hard good hardware even someone with uh, literally 4 gb of vram which is like uh, i think rtx 3050 or something like that uh, even you can create this and it would be pretty fast dpm plus plus sd keras i am using here cfg scale should always be 1 and 1.5 somewhere in between i have uh, enabled uh, a detailer and other than that okay i am using dynamic prompts so you can see here there is a curly brace and inside that i have put different uh, ethnicities like russian italian german american what it does is that it would iterate one by one these values and it would consider like the first prompt would be photograph of a russian then second prompt would be photograph of a uh, german like that and uh, so it will disregard the batch count even if the batch count is one here you can see how many of these values are present. According to that, uh, there will be number of images. So it just gives a little bit of variety with different ethnicities. So you can see what kind of images look better. Free you integrated, you can use these values because I have seen in turbo models, especially Dream Shaper Turbo, these are perfect along with self attention. So the images are ready. Let's look at them. You can see the hands are already pretty good. So one is I kind of like this image, but for the sake of hands, let's take this one. So I can show you how to fix the hands as well. So you can see uh, the hand looks a little bit off. It is good, but uh, we can refine it. Also, let's see if there is some image where the hands are messed up. Uh, let's take this one, right. So what we'll do is that we'll send it to image to image. So now because it is in image to image, we actually want to go to in paint. Here. You just need to paint the hand. I think I have done a little bit extra. You just Now I'll show you something. This is Comfy UI and you don't need to be intimidated by this because I'm not going to use any complex uh, workflows here. You can just install it and this would not be even heavy on the VRAM because this is just using a mesh graph former. This is a uh, kind of a preprocessor and you don't need to worry. So what we'll need to actually do is we'll take this particular image, drop it here just this uh, cue the prompt i'll make a separate video on this whole workflow but it is i think very easy and once this is done 
you can see we get an image so we just need to copy the image now we'll go to image to image again here we painted the hands right i'll add it a little bit extra we painted the hands sampling steps i can make it to 10 scale actually we do not need to resize right now we'll make it just one batch count will make 10 denoising strength you can play with it i would say let's to somewhere around 0.5 remember you need to put it to original and whole picture for this this is just the process that i am showing you how you can integrate it this hand is already pretty good i don't think we needed to do this but still i am showing you the way now you need to go to control net so in control net enable it paste the picture here if you need to use depth the pre processor should be none because this is already a pre processor image we took from confi ui and the control lora you can use any depth i am using the control weight as 0.9 ending control step as 0.8 and balanced everything else is pretty same now with that we'll generate some images so you can see which hands are good which hands are bad don't worry if it is messed up uh for example if i take this one let's take this one or either what we can do is that we can try to reduce like uh, let's put it to 0.45 and generate again you just need to play a little bit because it depends on how messed up the hand is because the hand is already perfect i think it is trying to make more more and more changes so we need to bring the denoising a little bit down let's see you can see this is pretty better so this was the map which was created so i think i'll go with this one because this somewhat this one looks nice so i'll go with this one and now we'll send it to image to image again you can see it is little bit improved now this is not in paint this is image to image right so uh, we'll have the same batch count no issues here and what we'll do is that we'll bring it to around 0.38 now we'll resize it by 2 so it would be double we need to turn off control net remember we would not be using control net here denoising strength we have brought down and generate uh so the images are ready you can see that the hands are quite improved the fingernail is missing here this is one drawback but i think other than that it is pretty good so yeah also you can see some minute things like if there was like this rim sometimes it is missed because it is so minute but here uh, no such problem rise
I think another one which I would love to try is this one because the hands are already pretty right the fingernails and everything so we can send it to image to image and I'll actually bring the denoising a little bit down let's bring it to 0.32 and generate So the images are ready and you can see that this turned out pretty good. Some of them look more realistic, some of not. You can choose according to your preference as well. So yeah, I think this was it for the video and do tell me what you would like me to create next.